Okay, so that brings us to the next very important part that is the thermodynamic state parameters of gas. Now, what are these thermodynamic state parameters? Suppose we have a container in which there is some gas and we want to convey some information regarding this gas. It's, it's just like saying that if we have a block of wood and we need to give some information regarding that block of wood, we might be forced to think about quantities such as the mass of that block, such as the volume of that block. Similarly, if we have a gas present in a container, there are four state variables which are used to give some information regarding that gas. And those four state variables are the pressure of gas, which will be represented by P, the volume of gas, which will be represented by V, the temperature of gas, which will be represented by T, and the number of moles of gas, the number of moles of gas, which will be represented by N in small case. So these are the four state parameters which we use to classify a gas to give, to give some information regarding the state of the gas. In due course of time, we will be having a detailed look at what all these parameters mean. But just to make sure a one particular point, just to give some information regarding a particular point that all these state parameters are not independent of one another. There is, an, there is this equation called PV is equals to NRT and this equation is named as the ideal gas equation. And in case you have already started stressing your minds as to where this equation came from, you need not do that at this point of time. We'll be having a detailed look at this as we move ahead. But I'm just using it over here to drive across this particular point that these state variables are not independent of each other and they cannot have any random set of values. The values of P, V, N and T for a gas in a container must always be such that they specify or rather let's say they satisfy this particular condition that is the product of pressure into volume must be equals to the product of N, R and T. Now obviously we know what is P, N, P, V, N and T over here but what is R? R as we will again study as we move ahead is a constant which is called the universal gas constant universal gas constant and we'll be talking more about it in our future videos okay so the next thing we need to do is that we need to have a very clear-cut understanding of all these state variables that is the pressure volume temperature and number of moles so we'll first start off with the variable v which is also called the volume of gas so let us try and have an in-depth look at what exactly do we mean by volume of gas now before i define this particular term for you let me ask you a very very straightforward and a simple question suppose if i have a container right and let's assume that this container has a volume of 2 liter and there is some gas present in this container and if I ask you what is the volume of this gas most of you without wasting a fraction of a second would give me the answer as the volume of gas is equals to 2 liter right and this is the absolutely correct answer now if I try to define volume of gas at this particular point of time, I might be forced to think that the volume of gas is equal to the volume of the container in which the gas is present. Now this definition is works very well for ele elementary classes like classes 8, 9, you might all have heard about this definition. But in some better numerical problems, some advanced level concepts, you might just find this definition to be not that workable. For example, let me just twist this situation a bit 
and I give you that we have the same container the, con the volume of the container is still 2 liter and in this 2 liter container I have filled or rather let's say occupied 1 liter of the volume 1 liter of the volume with some liquid let's say water which is the most easily available liquid and we have again we have some gas over here now obviously in this particular situation I ask you what is the volume of gas you would still obviously you would still not be giving me the answer as 2 liter most of you would report the answer to the volume of gas as 1 liter right now this happens to be the exactly correct answer but if we look at our previous definition that volume of the gas is equal to the volume of the container so that does not apply over here it's quite obvious because the container still has a volume of 2 liter and you have said that the volume of gas is equals to 1 liter so the exact precise definition regarding volume of gas would be that the volume of the gas is equal to the total space which is available to its particles for their free random motion. As I had just said in my previous video that the particles of a gas are in a state of constant random motion. They are moving about randomly colliding with themselves and with the walls of container. Now the total space that is available to the particles for this kind of motion within the container is called the volume of gas. In this example we still had the container of volume 2 liter but as the as one liter of that container was being occupied by a liquid within which the motion of the gas particles is not possible so that is why we are giving the answer to volume of gas as one liter so i'll just write down the definition for your reference v gas that is volume of gas is equals to the total space the total space available the total space available to gas particles total space available to gas particles for executing or rather let's say for free random motion and I hope that makes you very very clear regarding the term volume of gas.